What are the chances that I've forgotten his name? Our neighbour will be the guy who works with us. <laughs> I'm really sorry to bother you, Tommy. No problem. I wasn't ready for bed yet anyway. What can I do for you? It's about one of my investigations. I thought maybe you could help me with a question I have. I was wondering, is there a way to identify a bank from a list of stock quotes that they've printed? Normally, yeah. Banks always use watermarked paper, which shows the bank's ID code. The ID code is printed on a watermark? All right, I'll check our document to see. Thanks, Tommy. Good night. Night, Carla. Nice one, Tommy. Poor Tyler's just like there waiting for us in the empty office. Yeah? Our bookmark should be watermarked with the bank's ID code. I'll check it out and call you right back. Shouldn't the police know that kind of thing? <laughs> I would have thought, and like, they've got forensic people. Surely it should be the forensic person that is dealing with this. Move the light with the left analog stick. I think I found it. Have I? Tyler? I've got the code. You should have no trouble identifying which bank it corresponds to. This time we've got our killer. I think I'll pay a little visit to the bank tomorrow. You want me to go? No. No, I'd rather go myself if you don't mind. I'd like to see what our boy looks like. We'll meet afterwards at the station and compare notes. See you tomorrow, Tyler. Okay, see you then, Carla. That was a bit panicked. I didn't want him to die. That's why I said no. <laughs> Especially if there's going to be another freak out in the bank. Lucas Kane. Master Noctilan. Oh, no. Uh-oh, I'm not happy. <gasps> Get ready for what? Oh, 
fuck off, man. I can't help it if I've got bad fingers. What the hell just happened? That was the weirdest Lucas's thing. Lucas's terrifying story haunted me all night long. I had to see him, to talk to him. I had to find out what Agatha had told him. I wanted to look my brother in the eye and hear the truth. I'd never been to his apartment before, and it took me some time to find it. Oh shit. Is that it? The tenants' names are on the bells. No, Lucas doesn't live here. Lucas Kane. That's it. Just go in. Just go in. Come on, Marcus. <sighs> Lucas? Lucas, open the door. Lucas! I could swear that I heard a scream coming from inside. The doorman said Lucas was at home, but he isn't open. Kick it, Lucas yeah, is kick in danger. it. I've got no other choice. Come on, Marcus. Lucas! Oh my god! Save him, yes. Come on. <laughs> Lucas is now neutral. <laughs> Lucas, Not stressed for God's at all. sake! Have you lost your mind? What's come over you? The walls... The walls were blown away, and... The wind... The tempest, I... 
Why did you do this, Lucas? Why? Somebody tried to kill me. For heaven's sake, Lucas. There's no one else here but you and I. You were all alone when I arrived. All alone, Lucas. Aww. What's Clearly happening help. to me, Marcus? I don't know what's happening. It'll be all right, Lucas. Everything will be fine. I'm gonna help you. You'll see. I finally convinced Marcus to let me go out. I'd slept most of the day, and he'd stayed to watch over me. I needed to get out and get back in touch with reality. My physical condition was deteriorating rapidly. My mental state wasn't much better. I could feel myself slipping away. I knew that it wouldn't be long before I lost it. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. The police, they found me. Get out. Uh, she, take the picture. Where's the picture? She, get off. Just run, just run. It's too late for me to think about running. What do I have to do then? Yep, there's the picture. A torn piece of computer paper. <gasps> I think I must have used it for a bookmark. Right, yeah, get rid of it. Uh oh, I'd better try to hide this. Oh man, the. These controls are stupid. Hide it where? There is nowhere to hide it. I did nothing. Hello, I'm Detective Carla Valenti, NYPD. You are Lucas Kane, right? I'd like to ask you a couple of questions. You've got questions you need to ask me? Well, it's worth a try. It won't take very long. What do you want to know? Could you confirm that this list came from here at the bank? This is our bank's paper, but that doesn't mean it was printed out here. Is there a way to establish where it was printed from? The manager already filled me in, but maybe we can learn something more. This kind of paper is used by stock buyers to print out their quotes. There's about a hundred of them here in the bank. This guy seems really tense. Probably nervous about being questioned by the police. Oh, no. Is there a problem, Mr. Kane? Huh? Oh, no, no, sorry. Is there a way to determine where this particular document was printed out? What's his problem? Seems like my questions are upsetting him. No, not really. Our printers don't leave any identifiable marks. A witness helped us make a composite photo of the suspect. Would you mind taking a look at it for us? Yes, I, I, I'm, I'm fine. I feel tense. I've got to keep cool. 
this remind you of anyone? Uh, no. Doesn't ring a bell. I don't... Sorry. Are you sure? Oh, well. It was worth a shot. Damn. It would have made my life a lot easier if he'd recognized somebody. Are you sure you're all right? I mean... I... I thought that... Excuse me. Have you noticed anything unusual here at the bank lately? Apart from my behavior. They told me about what happened to this guy yesterday. I wonder if he's gonna mention it. Yes, why... Well, well, actually, I'm susceptible to epileptic seizures. They're fairly rare, but they can be violent. In fact, I had one yesterday, and I'm afraid I put on quite a show. But that's about the only unusual thing that's happened here recently. That's strange. His forearms are bandaged. <laughs> Shit. I wonder what happened to him. Did something happen to your arms? Are my arms part of your investigation? Oops. No, of course not. I I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be rude. Is that you in the picture with the priest? Is he a friend of yours? That priest looks a lot like him. Maybe a member of his family. That's my brother, Marcus. Oh my god, we're depressed. Are you sure you're feeling all right? You seem a little peakish. I, I, I might have a little cold. No, <laughs> cold. Not the symptoms of a cold. This guy seems mentally unstable. I think he might be our man. I have to be sure. Do you have access to this type of paper, Mr. Kane? Yes, of course. I'm in charge of computer maintenance, so I have access to every type of paper we use. This list could even have been printed out on my printer, if that's what you want to know. Can you tell me where you were on the night of January 26th? Look, I'm sick of all these stupid oh, questions. Frick. If you're going to accuse me of something, just do it and get it over with. That was an accident. Pardon me. These are just routine questions, sir. I don't even know what a uh, press. I'm not feeling very well. I'm just going to go and splash some water on my face. Go right ahead. I'll wait for you here. We did not stay cool. He's acting so strangely. I'd better take a quick look inside his desk before he gets back. Oops. I knew there was a reason that we had to look. There ought to be some fingerprints on it. That'll make it easy to see if this is our man. Uh-oh. We're gonna get caught? I think that's probably not a good thing. There's something written on the picture. LKMK, June 2003. Did I seriously put that in there? Torn piece of computer paper. I'll take oh. that. I couldn't have, like, set myself up to fail anymore. Nothing much of interest here. Cool. Ah, cool.
Feeling better? Yes. Thanks. I don't have any more questions. I'll let you get back to work. Thank you for your cooperation, sir. He's gonna have a meltdown when he finds out that paper's missing. <laughs>